peace and blessings to you all. My name is Natoya. If you are new here, thank you for watching this video. Before I say anything else, I'm going to pray. Lord God, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you, God, for your love. I thank you, God, for this time. I pray, God, that even as I speak, God, that your words will be my words. I pray, God, that every person that listens, God, that listens, Lord God, would be able to hear your voice and discern your spirit in me through your words, Lord God, in Jesus' name. So I was sitting with the Lord and in prayer, a couple of times, he's led me to the same scriptures over and over and over again. And it alarmed me what he had to say. Now, if you follow me, you know that God has led me to release words um, since the beginning of this year that concerns um, people getting things in order, people getting themselves, you know, back in alignment. God also led me to say very briefly, if he has called you to do something to get in line. As I'm sitting with the Lord, he led me to Jeremiah 6, Jeremiah 8, and Ezekiel 13. And those sp scriptures specifically talk about false prophets. This word is for three specific people. We live in a day and age where people are hungry to hear good news. And in you wanting to hear good news, you can easily be deceived. There has been a serious spirit of deception that was released into the earth. And if you're not paying attention, you can be one who is deceived. And God is getting ready to put an end to that. To every person, every single person that has been anointed to be a prophet, a watchman, Stand on your posts. Get on your posts and say what God has anointed you to say. And I'm, I want you to understand, I'm saying that to me too. We live in a time where if you are a true child of God and God has anointed you, anointed you to speak, it's time to speak. Speak with boldness and precision, understanding that the God you serve is going to back you in every word that you speak. Matters not if people won't listen. That's not your job. What your job is, is to speak the word that God has given you and he will confirm his word. I understand that if God has called you to be a prophet or even have a prophetic gift to share a word to people or to a, a set of people, it could be a little intimidating. But if, again, if God has anointed you to speak, he's given you a word to say to someone or to a set of people, say what you have to say, now is the time. And for the people who are eager and hungry to hear words of good news. As a prophet, God has given us the responsibility to speak good words, but to also speak whatever is on God's heart. We have the ability to encourage. We have the ability to you know, speak life into people. But also when God gives us a specific word and that word is not cute and wrapped in a boat, Y'all got to understand, as the person that is the receiver of the word, it's not always going to look pretty. It's not always going to sound like you're about to get a breakthrough, go run, jump, jump, and skip around the place. It's not always going to sound like that. That's not, and I'm not, I don't want you to hear me. God is a God of blessing. God loves to bless his children. He loves to give gifts to his kids. But you can't be so eager to hear a word of good news that you miss that the person that's given you good news has a spirit of deception on them. Be aware of who you're listening to. Be aware of who you're allowing your ear to be tuned into. There are so many false prophets out there right now sharing good news that came from the Lord and it came from themselves. God is tired of it. And now for the false prophet. You have literally treaded on dangerous ground for a real long time. For a very, very long time. A couple of y'all have literally spoken out of your own selfish gain. A couple of you got... Y'all have stolen money from people. 
Y'all have literally taken advantage of people. And I'm not saying that they should have blindly trusted you because they shouldn't have. They should have tested the spirit as the word of God says, test the spirit. But you had no conscience. You had no conscience. You opened your mouth and you spoke something that came from yourself. And expected God to bless your word and you expect him to bless you? No. I pray God has mercy on you. And I hear the Lord saying right now, my people be vigilant. My people be vigilant. Do not be deceived. Do not be deceived. Y'all, this is not a joke. And to the people, to the people that are eager to hear the word, seek God for yourself. And when you come among a true prophet, do not reject that prophet because they don't look like what prophets usually look like. God is doing a new thing in the season. So again, to my prophets, to my watchmen, not my prophets, but God's prophets, to God's watchmen, be obedient to the will and the voice of the Lord. When he speaks, you speak. If he tell you to speak, you speak and speak boldly because he's backing you. To the people who want to hear a word, test the spirit. Ask God before you turn on a video, before you listen to anyone, before anyone approaches you. Father, if this is your will, let your will be done. Let something within that person resonate with the spirit of God that lives within me. Let it click. And for the false prophets, repent. Ask God to have mercy. Correct your wrongs. Not much time from now is God about to cut off your line. If you are not careful, you light. It's that serious. God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you would quicken your people's spirit to hear you, to, to discern you, and to understand what the time that we are in, Father. It is a time that is very serious. It's a time that we cannot play. God, strengthen your prophets. Empower your prophets, God. Give them boldness to speak your word. Lord God, when you say to speak, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, God, for your children, God, that they will not be deceived by the enemy's schemes, Lord God, and by those who have wickedness in their heart, Lord God, who only want to do things out of their own selfish gain. But God, I pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that your spirit of discernment would rise up within them, God, that you would check in their spirit when someone is speaking falsely. In the name of Jesus, God, and I pray also for the, the, the false prophets, Father, that you would have mercy on them in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord God, I pray sincerely, Lord God, that you would bring them to a place of repentance, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. God, have your way. Let your will be done in Jesus' name. I pray that you all take this back to the, to the Lord. Take it back to the Lord. Test the spirit, as I said. Take it back to the Lord. And I pray God has mercy on us all. I pray that as you seek him, that you would find him in Jesus' name. God bless you. Until next time.